to my kitchen. Today I'm going to make my killer guacamole. And this was requested by Ash Baby and Evil Paw 99. Thank you for all my new subscribers. I really, really, really appreciate this. Okay, so first we're gonna start with, I have four avocados, half a teaspoon of salt, one tomato, one jalapeno, two cloves of garlic, half of a small onion, the juice of one lime, and we're gonna use cilantro. I am, I'm not a fan of cilantro, don't hate me. Um, I don't know, I don't know what it is about, I just can't get into it, but we're gonna put some in this today. If you don't like cilantro, don't use it, it'll still taste amazing, okay? So we're gonna get started. Uh, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to cut our avocados. So we're just gonna go and spin it like this and they pop right open. And they take that out. Okay, these ones I've already pre-cut. Oh, there goes a seed, I didn't even have to do that one. And then that one, there we go. We'll take the seeds out. Try not to cut your fingers off because you know that's something I would do. Okay, there we go. And then we're just gonna use a spoon and we're gonna spoon them out. And they should pop right out of the shell, just like that. Excellente. There's another one. It's almost done. It's very easy, they just should slip out. You want them to be uh, nice and ripe, not too ripe, or they start turning brown inside. It's not, a, it's not attractive. Okay. And with uh, a dinner fork, I just mash it up like that. We'll just start mashing. And if nobody's looking, I'll use my hands and squish it with my hands. <laughs> But my, hand, my hands are clean, I swear. I'm not dirty like that. I would never do that. I wouldn't wipe my nose and then stick my hands in the food. There we go. See, and they should mash right up. If you like it chunky, don't mash it too hard. But I like it fairly even. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Okay. Now we're gonna work on the other ingredients. Let me just give my hands a little rinse. Okay. You're gonna use your lime. Best thing to do is to roll it in your hands to release the juices inside. There we go. We're gonna cut it in half and squeeze it right into the mix. Get as much as you can. If you have to stick your thumbs in the middle, go for it. There we go, get it all out. That's also gonna keep it nice and green so it won't start turning on you. Stick your fingers in it. Awesome. One more squeeze and we got it all. Okay, we're gonna go to the onion. Thin slices, we like it uh, minced pretty well. I don't think we want big chunks in it. There we go. Oh, there's Loki again. Loki's a, officially my co-star co here. Hi, Loki. He's in almost every single video I noticed. He's just waiting for things to drop off the counter, right, Max? Yeah. Right? He's in Moochie Magoo. There we go. And we're going to toss the onion right in. Okay. Jalapeno. Again, you don't have to have to use the jalapeno if you don't like spicy foods. Uh, but if you take the seeds out, it takes a lot of the heat out. There we go. I think it gives the guacamole a lovely flavor. I am obsessed with jalapenos. I use it in a lot of my recipes. There we 
you go. Thin strips, and then we're gonna dice it. Excellent. All right, we're gonna throw that in there. Ooh, big piece of onion. Toss that in. Okay, uh, we're gonna put in the garlic. So I'm gonna use my shredder here and the mini grater. And that's the second one going in. I find this always tastes so much better if you let it sit for a few hours. Even the next day, it tastes fantastic. All right, let's get it all out. Pop that in. Okay, and then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do the tomato. This is a fairly large tomato. Uh, we might not use the whole thing, but we wanna take out the seeds because then it makes, your, um, of a, it makes your dip a little bit too wet. So again, we're gonna cut it into strips. And then dice that up too. Ah, what the heck. I'm gonna put all of it in. I love tomatoes. <laughs> okay, take out all the wet stuff. Dice it. Okay, and we're gonna throw that right into the mix. And then the cilantro. Oh. I'm only gonna use a little bit. There we go. Take the sticks off. We don't want the sticks in there. Tell me if you also don't like cilantro, let me know. Is it just me? Let's chop that up real fine. Oh, that's my phone. All right, there we go. Now we're gonna add the salt. And that is it. Let's mix this up. That is my killer guacamole, and it is absolutely divine. And there you have it. This is my killer guacamole. Absolutely amazing. Great to put out for parties or just to snack on yourself. So I hope you enjoy it, and tell me what you think if you make it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.